take our lead, let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Also like all purpose flour, self-rising flour is enriched with added nutrition. It also contains salt and baking powder that has been distributed evenly throughout the flour and acts as a leavening agent. This raising agent helps dough to rise without having to add yeast. Let's help you make your mark. How to make bread flour substitute. Measure out one cup all-purpose flour, four and a half ounces or 129 grams. Remove one and a half teaspoons, one eighth ounce or four grams. Add one and a half teaspoons of vital wheat gluten, one eighth ounce or five grams. Whisk or sift to combine. Make your mark, take our lead. Self-rising flour is not the same as bread flour. In short, self-rising flour is a mixture of all-purpose flour, baking soda, and salt, and is used for cakes and non-yeast breads. On the other hand, bread flour is just flour that has a high protein content, making it ideal for sourdough and similar types of breads. Let's help you make your mark. When using self-rising flour the bread proofs much faster. Therefore, if you also add yeast to it you will need to wait for it to act. As a result your bread will be way overproofed and will most likely collapse while baking. However, by skipping the yeast entirely you will loose out on that delicious bread flavor. Make your mark, take our lead. Partly as keeping just one type of flour saves on storage space and partly as if you don't use self-raising flour regularly, then it will lose its raising power over time. It is fairly easy to make your own self-raising flour. Just add 2 teaspoons of baking powder for each 150 grams, 6 ounces, 1 cup plain flour. Thank you for watching, please subscribe and hit the bell notification.